Hi, I'm Ewan Murray. I'm the Head of Events and PR at the Wine Society based in Stevenage. And today we're here in London in Great George Street for our press tasting. The Wine Society has been going for 138 years, um, still going very strong, multi-award winning uh, recently. And uh, we're uh, looking forward to some, some new happenings at the Wine Society with a, a change in management, uh, with a new chief executive coming in in the spring and also a recent change in the chief buyer. Uh, Sebastian Payne has been at the society for 39 years and has been buying for, uh, for well over 20 of those years and uh, he's now uh, moving to a, to a part-time role and we're delighted to welcome Tim Sykes uh, as the new uh, head of buying at the Wine Society. Tim who's just joined us from Inotria. Thank you Ewan. Yes, well, um, big boots to fill after 26 years of Sebastian at the helm. Um, I feel very privileged to be joining the Wine Society, which is really quite a unique institution that from a buying perspective is the holy grail uh, because everything is bought primarily on quality and because the society is a mutual, uh, there is no necessity to maximise profit. So from a buying perspective, it's an absolutely fantastic opportunity and I'm joining an incredibly experienced team that has combined over a hundred years of experience and um, they really know the ropes, they have tremendous experience and it's great to be joining such an experienced team. How do you feel the wine society sits in the sort of current economic climate? You still seem to have quite good prices, I would say, and also very premium prices. We try and give the members a very broad spectrum of offering. So we have wines around the five pound mark, and then the sky is the limit, really. And we try to uh, offer what our members ask for. But one thing we have done in recent months, and within since the recession bit is to actually strengthen our range in the sub seven pound mark where we see growth from the members. Do you feel that you can appeal to a sort of younger audience? There is quite a, a, a lot of online retailers who are really chasing that market. Can, can you compete with that? Yes, I mean, I think that's one of the challenges for the society is to attract younger members. We, um, we have a few initiatives um, in the pipeline and you know, in terms of the digital media, the tweeting and the blogging, um, we, we've introduced those relatively recently in order to attract a younger, uh, younger member and um, we feel that the future of the society has to be the younger membership so that's an area where we are going to be focusing. Yeah. And with your consumer tastings you have a very active calendar, do you get a lot of feedback from your consumers? Do you use that to sort of make new buying decisions? Uh, yes, I mean we have we run a program of over a hundred events in the year, and around about thirteen or fourteen thousand people in total come to those events. Some are members, and some are prospective members, if you like, and, and, and friends that I like. And uh, yeah, they always come with an opinion, which is great. We try and, and form those opinions with the wines we offer, uh, but also they're, they they've been on holiday, they've been to wine regions and visited, and they they're, they're coming to us with their ideas too. And being a cooperative. Uh, society, uh, we're more than happy to listen to, and sometimes we will we will act on those uh, on those um, ideas as well. So it's all one big happy family in that. Great, that well, excellent range today as always. Thank you both very much.